you can hear it, but there's this steady pitter-patter that sounds like raindrops, and it's caterpillar droppings. As caterpillars, as they have done occasionally, invade these woods. But there's something very different now. The difference is that they're dying, like in droves, here on this tree. These are all dead. Everything you're looking at here is dead. Several times between 1910 and the early 80s, U.S. scientists tried to introduce a Japanese fungus that was lethal to gypsy moth caterpillars. They thought they'd failed, but in 1989, the fungus surprised everyone. Scientists here at the experiment station yeah, discovered it, you know, there in that outbreak, you know, here in, in 1989. And it, it's pretty much kept, uh, you know, the gypsy moth under control since then, but, it's, but since it's so weather-dependent, Right. I mean, you still get outbreaks like we're seeing now. Here in Connecticut, we had one in 2005 and 2006. And uh, right now here in Connecticut, we're seeing a lot of caterpillar deaths, but we also have areas, particularly in the far eastern part of the state, that never got any rains, so that they're just not, they're not seeing any fungus activity. Yeah, that's interesting. So basically, uh, the fungus needs a moist environment to... Um, yeah, it needs a moist environment to kick it off and keep it going, because you've got your long-term resting spores which will last over 10 years um, there in the soil. And once the caterpillars get it, it spreads. And then once they're infected, they start producing a different kind of spore, um, you know, which also then quickly spreads to the other caterpillars and you start getting all the die off. There's one live one somewhere here I just saw. Right, here he is. And I don't know if that means he's resistant, it is resistant, he or she, to this pathogen. But for the most part, it's kind of like War of the Worlds where the Martians end up dying of some contagion, even when it seemed like they had won the race for planet Earth. But it's way too soon to count the gypsy moths out. I was back in the woods on July 6th, and here's what I found. So here's some mating. And that results in egg laying. Here we go. And on up, oh my gosh, and up, and up. <laughs> <laughs>